Hey folks, this is Chris Tazi with IT Pro Today, and I'm here today to talk about CLI tools that you can use to collect information about the network on Linux. Uh, these are all pretty basic utilities that don't require a lot of Bash or Linux expertise for you to use. Basically, if you have a general understanding of how to use a Linux terminal, these tools should be pretty accessible to you. And they're tools that let you do some pretty powerful stuff. Now, most of the functionality that we'll look at today, you could get in other ways. You could run various kinds of um, you know, network mappers, for example, that have graphical front ends. But I like these command line tools because they're quick and easy. If I wanna get some information really quickly about my network, I can just open up a terminal, run these commands, and I get lots of information <laughs> with little effort. So, uh, Let's talk about the tools. There are five of them. I'll try to go through them kind of quickly, and then you can go experiment with them on your own. So the first tool is Nmap. Nmap, as its name implies, is uh, a network mapper, and uh, it can do lots of cool things. One thing it can do is scan individual endpoints on a network, and it'll tell you which ports they have open, um, which services they're running. It can tell you which operating system they're running, which can be interesting in a lot of cases. Uh, Nmap can also scan an entire network or subnet uh, and figure out what's running on it. Um, I mean, in the past, I've used Nmap to figure out, for example, which uh, IP address is assigned to my printer because that's actually really hard to figure out because my printer doesn't tell me and I could look in my router, uh, but that's annoying to have to do. And also my router doesn't tell me which host is a printer, uh, but Nmap can actually tell you <laughs> if something looks like a printer. Uh, so that's an example of how Nmap has come in handy uh, just in sort of my daily life. Um, but for now, I'm not gonna look for a printer. I don't actually have a printer on this network. I'm just gonna run an Nmap command that scans the IP address assigned to my laptop currently. And uh, my laptop isn't actually doing anything very interesting here. So there's not much interesting to look at, but you can see Nmap does tell me um, what's running on the laptop. And uh, that's about it. You can imagine how this would be much more interesting if you were scanning a server that had more open ports. If you wanted to know like, does my server have ports open that I don't know about? Nmap is a great tool that lets you look from the outside to figure out which ports you might have open. Uh, you're looking from the perspective of somebody who might be out on the network up to no good, and that's what makes Nmap an important tool for security purposes. But it's also useful just if you're trying to figure out what's going on with your network, you're trying to troubleshoot various issues, you're trying to figure out what's running on your network in the first place. Nmap will do all that for you. Again, there's lots of other fancy network mapping software out there today that will do this and give you lots of fancy charts and graphical representations of your network. Nmap won't do that, but if you just want the raw data, uh, Nmap is a great tool that will get you that data really quickly about what's happening with your network as a whole or with uh, individual endpoints. My next tool to show off is Netstat. Netstat, as its name implies, basically prints out information about network status. Um, and there's, again, this, I'm just on my local network here. There's not anything really interesting happening here, but if you wanna know what's connecting to what, um, <clears throat> Netstat will tell you that, right? There's, I really don't, yeah, there's nothing really that interesting to look at in this output here. But if there were more interesting things, um, Netstat would tell us about it. So. Moving on, uh, another really handy, but also super simple command is wget, uh, right? Wget is a tool that lets you download web pages through the command line, right? We're here, we're just gonna wget google.com and it's gonna just download for us the, um, the index.html file that's hosted at google.com. Um, now, you can do a lot more sophisticated stuff with Nmap, or excuse me, with wget. If you want, you can recursively download all web pages hosted on a domain. Um, you can download a bunch of different websites, right? We could put this in a script and download a bunch of different websites. So that's cool. But I like uh, wget when, uh, I mean, I, I use it really for two purposes. One is if I just want a no fuss way of seeing if I can connect to a website because wget is really simple. And if I have weird stuff going on with like, um, catch or like the DNS catch in my browser, for example, or cookies in my browser. And I don't want to, you know, wonder if those are the things that are causing weird behavior with a website. Maybe I just want to know whether the website itself is down or not, or if there's some kind of problem with my network as opposed to my browser configuration. WGET is really handy for that. Uh, I also like WGET because you can uh, download web content really quickly. There's even an option to tell it to ignore um, robots.txt files if you want, right? Robots.txt is a file 
that uh, tells people not to um, basically uh, scrape your website and wget will respect that by default it won't scrape a website if there's a robot.txt file telling you not to but <laughs> you can pass it an option to ignore that which comes in handy uh, in cases where you just want to download a bunch of stuff uh, quickly um, so moving on yet again let's talk about traceroute so traceroute is a cool tool that as its name implies lets you trace the routes of packets as they flow across uh, the internet so let's do a trace route for google.com and as you can see this is showing me how a packet gets from my laptop to google.com right you can even uh, infer some information here about where i am geographically located and this is a handy tool if you want to figure out whether connectivity issues are um, caused by problems with your local network or even by your local isp right if my local isp were having issues then i would probably be seeing high latency and the time it takes the packet to get um, through the first or second hops here um, or you know maybe you're wondering is it a problem um, you know, with the with the larger internet right traceroute will tell you stuff like that um, traceroute can also come in handy if you have a website hosted somewhere or a web app hosted somewhere and you want to figure out how long it takes um, for packets to move uh, between the various steps that they have to move through in order to get from an end user's location to the uh, website so it's cool is a kind of testing tool it's also cool for figuring out what's going on with your network or your isp's network um, so there's that moving on yet again is tcp dump now tcp dump is a tool that uh, i discovered when i first started using linux like two decades ago and i thought it was really cool because you can collect a lot of information about what's happening on your network tcp dump basically collects all of the information flowing across a network interface. In this case, I'm telling it to monitor WL01, which is my wireless interface. And uh, it captures all the packets and you can um, write them to a file if you want to, although I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, and you can see here in real time, it displays everything that's happening. I'm gonna shut this down because I don't actually want the world to see too much about what's happening on my network, but um, TCP dump comes in handy if you want to collect data from the network quickly through the command line. Now you can use a tool like Wireshark to do this if you want a nice graphical interface and if you want to also be able to inspect the packets or inspect the traffic um, through the same application. A TCP dump isn't really designed for inspecting packets. It's mostly, as its name implies, it's, it's designed for dumping packets. But still, that comes in handy if you want to figure out what's going on on your network, or you want to capture some data as it flows across the network, or, I mean, it can be useful as a sort of primitive security tool if you want to figure out if you're sending content over your network in unencrypted form. Um, TCP Tump will let you do all of those things. And so, that's it. I could go on. There are plenty of other cool command line tools that let you do interesting stuff with your network on Linux, but I'm going to leave it there because if I had to pick my top five favorite CLI Linux tools for networking, those would be it. Thanks for listening, folks. I'll catch you next time on IT Pro Today.